I know those flaps. Oh my god! <laughs> it's shut that out! He opened the show! He's back! So it's no secret I haven't been the biggest fan of this season. And no, it's not because there's no boom boom pow pow. It's just because, I don't know. Maybe because I'm watching other anime right now, and that's getting a lot of my attention, like Naruto, Mashoku Tensei, and now I'm watching Dr. Stone on Patreon. I have too much peakness going on in my life. I heard these next two episodes are actually bangers. This one's 40 minutes long, the next one's like an hour long. I'm excited, so don't think I got off the Mugen train, I right? I'm riding it out until the end. No AO. We've still yet to see Chantaro. Which is the reason why I'm giving this uh, season a 5 out of 10 so far. Alright, let's start this shit. He's back! Let's go! Yeah. What's that say, bro? Subscribe to Nicholas Light? Yeah. He's bringing the message! Like the video and subscribe! That's what it says! Yeah. Oh shit! I don't even care about this, bro! Oh my god! Muzan could appear on the screen fighting Uba Yashiki and everything. I don't give a fuck. Oh, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Chantaro could pick that up over his head and fly with it. Come on, time to roll light work. Now I could lift that rock, bro. I could do jumping jacks with that rock now that I saw my boy. Holy shit, they edit like a Photoshop stroke on him. Look, he has a little more fur in his belly. Look, he doesn't really- wait. Yeah, they, they put more fur on his belly. What do you mean, what do you want? Acting like he saw him yesterday. I'd be having a heart attack. I'd be having a fucking spaz attack on the floor. Yeah! Oh, you deserve that. He said, uh, 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 like and subscribe. A letter. Give a fuck about this, bro. Now I know why he's in the opening. Oh my god, it's about damn time, bro. Y'all been blue balling me enough this season. Da -da. Episode 7 Stone Hashira's Chantaro. Damn, bro, sweating all over me. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's me after doing a leg workout, bro. I do one a year. Uh-oh. Murata? Why the fuck you be thinking about him? Wow. Oh, I thought that's what, that, those were his tears. Amida Butsu. Namu 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 Amida Butsu. Is he proud? He acknowledges his tribal chief! <laughs> Give him that hawk to her. Jesus Christ. Look at the fucking size comparison. It's like a midget and a titan. Bro, Gyomi built like a One Piece villain. I that's why I'm not Hondro. Kodomo we get to get backstory? These creatures called the children. That was his, his uh, 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 past. I can't get over the size comparison. You're always helping people out. It's only right they help you out. They owe you their lives. <laughs> Jesus Christ, those shoulders, man. Those are boulders. Said his full name, too. Oh no, did they get fucking slaughtered? Oh, they got slaughtered, didn't they? We're gonna get backstory! Oh shit! Wait, is that him? Oh. Bat bat before he became a titan. He's not crying. He's smiling. Oh, who's this? 
良太郎と浅見にも感謝だ。Oh my god, he's so cool! 感謝泣き揺れてんどうしたんだ、oh. Damn, bro, look at him! Holy shit! What a hunk! You're too skinny! Oh, he really took her advice! Lord! <laughs> bro, what the fuck is that voice? <laughs> Sounds like Crocodile from One Piece, but it's in like the skinny ass body. I love it. Aww. It's fun seeing all these Demon Slayer characters or anime characters in general look so nice and healthy and innocent in the past, and then something fucking brutal happens, some terrorist attack or something happens, and then they become the most hardcore, heartless bastards in, in imagination. <laughs> <laughs> What's gonna happen? Demon Ben Laden's gonna enter the fucking room? Itadakimasu! Oh, they are getting fucking slaughtered. This is lovely. And then, uh... Oh my god, are they gonna like change this shot and it's gonna be like a bunch of dead bodies on the floor? That would be... The Demon Slayer I know. Tokoronga. <laughs> Oh, yep, there's the sentence. However, one night... <laughs> he lost a mountain coon? This guy looks very familiar. Am I dumb? That's what you get for breaking the rules! I should be crying like him, bro, but I have no heart. This fucker better not be alive anymore. I'll kill him myself. Oh my god! Made a deal with the devil, with the demon! Good night, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you piece of fucking ass. Holy cow. How many families have we seen fucking killed in this show? Oh my god! We went from throwing fucking paper airplanes to, 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 to child slaughter. Welcome to Demon Slayer! No wonder why he's crying all the time! Holy shit, his animal instinct came out. Oh my god, the beads falling off and everything! Woo! For Sayo! Oh my god, he ripped the fucking arm off! He's never raised his voice, he said. This is already the best episode of the fucking season. The, oh my god, the beads bouncing as he's beating him. And the Sayo is just hysterical in the back. I was clenching my fist to throw punches with full force. Oh my god, I can't even imagine, man. That is, you know, that's terrifying. He found his strength in his darkest hour. Oh my god. That night he lost his family. Well, not his blood family, you know what I mean. Seeing kids die, that already is scarring for life. And then losing his innocence, his humanity. Oh, fuck her. I changed my mind. She's the worst of the children. Oh. Son of a bitch. This is heartbreaking. Wow. So the kid never told him that? What the fuck? Fuck Zio! He should have been first! Nick, he's just a child. A child that should have been dead. Demon Slayer backstories hit different, man. One of the best. Oh. Someone who's observed scores of people with the eyes of my soul. 
Oh my god, this motherfucker's blind and he sees better than everybody else. He ain't blind one. The world is the blind one, Sayo. Oh, I hope he finds solace, man. This has to be the most uh, enduring Hashira. This is the Demon Slayer that I fucking love. What they just did, the symbolism, the parallel between Tanjiro and Sayo. Even though I'm like, fuck Sayo, bro, this is beautiful. What a beautiful shot. Oh, Lord, man. Wow. Definitely the best episode of the se se season. Maybe my favorite since season two. <laughs> oh, right in the heart, bro. Right in the feels. Oh, God. Here we go. What's that Itsu doing? How long is that letter? I want to see what's in it. Do I? Do I want to see what's in it? <laughs> what about Chantaro's piece? <laughs> he has a point. That's <laughs> not well, somebody asked, dude. That moment with Genya's lecturing and, and giving some heart to Inosuke? What, what show is this? This is great! Oh, we're going to Tamioka! Is he done moping around? <laughs> oh there we go, that's the Genya I know! Yeah! <laughs> Finally! Ooh, let's talk about Big Brother! Uh oh, oh, oh shit! What happened? What happened? No, he read something in that letter. Now his whole personality changed. What the fuck was in that letter? I like this, Sinitsu. Maybe we need more of those letters. What, does Grandpa die? I feel like a heartless bastard, bro. I prefer this Sinitsu over the other one. What kind of news did Chantaro bring? He brought it too. What the fuck? What he headbang himself against a tree when he read the news? What is his grandfather dead or something? That's the only thing I could think about. Who else is he attached to? Or is this some other fucking joke? Holy shit. Oh my god! You foldable, you sons of bitches. I'm sick of complimenting you. Tomioka. He's playing with a sword. Who allowed Peak to happen without warning us? How'd they not send a letter around? Shinazagawa versus Tomioka! Oh my god! Yo! This is sick! This episode's back! He's practicing. This is great. That's why Satsanami is excited about this. He's like, oh, you finally want to play. <laughs> Striking time. Oh, shit! Hi. They can never show us who's better than the other. Yes. Oh, they did not have to go that hard. They did have to go that hard. Fuck you, Tanjiro, stopping this. I wanted to see a bloodbath. We went from a family bloodbath to them talking about red bean, red bean mochi. This episode is all over the place in the best way possible. Nice kid, eh? <laughs> yes! Oh, you deserve that for interrupting that fight. 
He put him on his fucking thing. Oh my god. I love how Tomioka is basically like a more serious Tanjiro, but he still has that personality like him. <laughs> I'm just happy he's training and taking it serious now. He wants a friend! <laughs> the fucking bird's talking to us and he called us a baka! <laughs> oh my god, he's talking to us. That's what I said, bro. If only he didn't stop that fight. I'll, I'll never let that go. Was that an eyeball? Did he just catch a fucking eyeball? No way! Yo, that silence in the OST and then him just crunching that shit in his hand. Oh shit. Now they know. They know something's up and they're nearby, bro. They found it. They found the fucking area. Let's go. Oh shit, it's all coming together. Oh yeah! Fuck. I gotta put you on the road down, bro. I'm gonna hurt him. Oh, let's go. War is here. Oh, shit. Here we go. Yo. Those are Muzan shoes. Nobody else dresses like Michael Jackson. He's just walking right down the middle. All right, Batman. All right. Why is this like one of the coldest entrances I've ever seen, bro? gonna come oh my god is this the same season why is this so peak this is one of the best fucking entrances i've seen with the door opening and the footsteps this noise in my fucking ears right now muzan's gonna kill you <laughs> imagine i stopped the episode they're playing the ending song with him walking through the fucking door. Nah, this is hard. This is a WWE entrance. Walking right through. Oh, God, dude, dude, dude. Oh, 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 oh. oh this is cold, bro. He knows, he knows who's here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You vulnerable! You done it again! Oh my god! Bro, the fucking hair on my thighs is standing up. I didn't think anything could top Chuntaro showing up, but this did. These side by sides! Oh shit! Oh shit! Nah, it's the footsteps, bro, that make this even better. They really built up to this moment, the suspense. Oh, this makes me so happy, bro. I was a lo I was losing a little bit of faith in Demon Slayer. I don't know anymore. <laughs> oh shit! Let's fucking go! Oh my god, are all the Hashiras gonna like appear in front of him now or something to confront him? Like, don't get close to the master. They've infiltrated. This is the closest they've ever been. In existence. I might even title the episode, the reaction, like the best episode in seasons. I'm about to throw up, bro. Oh my god. I don't give a fuck. You think this is a fake reaction, bro? You should feel my fucking heartbeat. I'll show you fake. <sighs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Let's fucking go with the swag. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you say to him. You just met him. I dare you go up to a girl. The first thing you say, bro, you're butt fucking ugly. Oh my god! And then they show this shit. What's the next episode called? What's the season or the anime finale gonna be? Because after this, I think it's just movies. This is the last time. This next episode is the last time we're watching Demon Slayer like on a weekly basis. I think. I think it is. What I said is gonna happen. All the Hashira are gonna show up behind Muzan right now. This is gonna be a fucking face-off. I didn't know a battle was happening. Foldable did not have to go that hard, bro. Oh my god. 
Look at this, man. Look at this with the outro playing. Unbelievable, man. I am so hyped for this next episode. It's like I get so hyped in the end. You know, I was a big critic of the season. Not because it was just dialogue. It's because... I, I, I don't know, bro. It was a little slow, you know what I mean? And I usually like slow. I mean, I love the Vinland Saga season two. And there wasn't that much action in the beginning and in the middle. It was more towards the end. And that's one of my favorite fucking um, arcs of all time. Like, the conversation between Gyomi and Tanjiro was one of the best. The Muzan entrance, one of the best. Zenitsu's whole personality changing. Chantaro delivering a message. That was one of the best. Oh my god, man. Like, what a peak episode. This was the best fucking episode since season two. I think this is my favorite episode since the season two finale. The uh, uh, Entertainment District arc. Honestly. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal, bro. 10 out of 10 fucking episode. <laughs>